What's up guys, my name's Dean and look at this! Look at this! We got an offer to play in the 2020s! I totally didn't think we were gonna get it. We got an offer from every single team, oh my god! Oh my goodness. Alright, so after much discussion here with uh with my Discord chat, we've decided to go with the Hobart Tornadoes. Would have been better if I could do this on stream, but going with the Hobart Tornadoes, okay, the, the Canes, and have a look at this. We're a fringe member of the T20, Australian Women T20 uh, Clash here. Still no chance at all at international selection, which I think is good. I think that we need um, a little bit further, a little bit more time anyway. Yeah, I think that it's good that the internationals, like, will take a while to get to because, I mean, you've got all these other leagues that you can go through, um, and at least that we're still, like, ages off getting getting internationally selected is really good. So, we're gonna see, and we're playing the Sydney Maximum. Oh, yes! Let's have a look at the, the team lineup. We're batting at number 11 here. Oh, boy. Look at that. Chastity Mantegazza, number 11. Hobart, Sydney. Number 11, so we want to get a bat. That much is certain. But, Emma Parker, our captain. I don't think there's anyone here from our club level team uh, that I can recognise. Um, but yeah, light cracks. Is the bit, there's a bit of wind, so we probably could use that wind to our advantage. Now, unfortunately, no one's actually made the kits and teams for... The women's big bash, unfortunately, you can't like just copy them over. All of the international sides, I believe, have been done. But uh, in terms of our women's kits, they're just going to be the standard ones, unfortunately. But as soon as we do get into our men's career mode, which is going to be very soon because we've almost got all of the domestic teams uh, updated on the men's side of things. Uh, for Australia and the big bash is all done and the England teams are all done It's gonna be pretty good Gonna be pretty good. So Wait for that one to come through We are gonna get a bowl here. I wonder if they'll give us a full four overs coming in three for 36 So we've had a decent start She's in the blue. We look all right in the blue. I reckon a little bit of drift there That's a bump ball could be some good fielding first one up. There we go. Nice stuff Jess Maybe you just need one to like turn and bounce. It's probably too much of a half volley, but a decent line. And again, some decent enough fielding. <laughs> and again, apologies for the no webcam. I'm just trying to record as much as I can right now to get uh, get these videos out as quickly as possible. This person doing the fielding, this captain actually looks like they've got a clue about how it should be done. So. We've got some decent field going. This is a ripping start for this over. Four dot balls. Oh! I mean, that's alright. We'll take that because we bowled some pretty good deliveries that, that over. Drift in. And there's no one back there either. So, maybe this uh, captain doesn't have as much of a clue as I thought. Because there was a mid on and a mid off and I got excited. No, eight off the over. Jeez, five wickets. Uh, the uh, tornadoes, as we're called here. That's close. I think it just didn't pitch in line. Maybe it must have been outside leg because it was very, very close. We'll have a look here on the big eye system because I'm pretty sure this would have gone on to hit the stumps. Just needed a pitch in line. Outside leg. Turned enough. Jeez. And would have been going on to hit the top. Oh, that's out. That's out. Oh. No, no, no. I was pretty convinced this was out. It's hit him on the full. Maybe it's just hit him outside leg. This is out. Oh, I can't believe it. It's just missing. I was spewing if that umpire knocked him down. It just didn't straighten enough. Needed a bit more spin on it, the Doosara. Oh, that one came back in a mile. Got to start with a good ball and end with a good ball. And that's something we didn't do 
in our first two overs was end with not a boundary stump. Yes! <laughs> hey! First wicket at Australian T20 level in the WBBL. Lola Stewart gets stumped, beaten for flight. And it's a big wicket for Manta Gaza, making her debut for the uh, whatever we are the Hurricanes, the Storm, the Thunder. There it goes, there goes the stumps. Catch. Fielder, wicket, Manda's got two. Manta Gaza. Old oh, Manda Gaza caught Stark. Ripping. Oh, that's out as well, I reckon. Yes. Oh, Chastity ends up with three. That's a ripping ball, beaten for flight. Drifts in, spins away. They gotta go. This ball just sort of drifts in. Pitching outside off, that's not an issue. Straightening, impact in line, wickets. Umpire's call. That was the one that was like just touching the top of the bales. Not umpire's call in this one where more than half the ball is hitting it. Gee, that's, that's interesting. Anyway, we're going to cruise to victory here. And the Tornadoes win by seven wickets. Stark player of the match, 3 for 24, just pit me by one. And, uh, gee, 9 for 105, we knocked him over in the end. And uh, easy run chase, just 105 to chase down. Jeez, unlucky there. Just missed out on player of the match on debut. All right, so we're going to increase our flight turn and accuracy. Really good. Okay. And I mean, look at that. We're still a fringe member. Still a fringe member. But we're earning our place. I hope. But he gets selected once again. So what are we here? We're uh, currently league standings. Jeez, we came in halfway through, didn't we? The Tornadoes were already doing really well. Um, tornadoes coming out. Pereira, Griffiths to bowl. Marks is in there as well. They won't need us for the 20 overs. But they will need us to do some damage with the ball. Four overs without a wicket here. Ella Vincent with 37 as an average. Jeez. None for 42. Going to be really, really difficult. But Chastity has to come in do the work. Oh, nice. Oh. We are getting some decent turn. So you've got someone like Harris just playing really well here on 50 almost. Well beyond 50 hitting shots like that can't afford to give him any width but that's Vincent obviously who hit that shot oh fielder back there again I probably need someone like halfway between the two spots it's hard to pick is there a fielder back there there is skipped it to the one gee we look like we're in real strife for this one unless we can take a wicket Oh, it was a wide ball. It was a bump ball too. <laughs> 16 from 22 needed. Don't want to really give a half volley. But it might just be something that we need to do. Oh, get that. Just over my head for a single. I can afford to be a little straight. And it's going to be a dot. So just two from the over. Captain would be happy with our efforts there. And we didn't survive. <laughs> Jeez, they didn't even... They got through that next over with a fly. I mean, our bowling unit as a whole didn't do that great. Three overs, none for 16 from our little thing. Look at that hunt. One for 28 from three. Wow, that's bad. None for 35 from Franks and Marks. One for 41. So our key bowlers weren't great. So anyway, a really good start to our uh, Big Bash. Did we get another 15,000 points from that game? I think we did. Let's have a look here. It's match fee paid. Yeah. So we're getting like 15,000 points per game. That is so much better. 
in terms of upgrading quicker. Now we are at number 11, so I feel like we should just upgrade our bowling right now. Maybe a couple of points into the Orthodox and a couple into the Dusra. And then one into a little bit more accuracy. So that's pretty good. Our bowling's getting there. Getting there. But uh, that should be it for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We will continue with the next episode where we play... And Achuga got a win as well in the background there. But we're playing now against the Outlaws in... Oh, are we screwed? Here, in the standings. With the... How many matches are there? Ooh. This is only 12, 10 rounds. So why is this... Oh, this is round 9. So we've got to win the next two games. Otherwise, we are... So screwed.